Rugged phones are a common sight in the modern mobile market, and you can't get much more rugged than the Eulophone Armor 21. This thing is bulky even without a case, and it packs a pretty impressive looking speaker on the back. But is there much else to this rugged powerhouse? I'm William Worrell with MakeUseOf.com, and today we're looking at the Eulophone Armor 21. The Eulophone Armor 21 is a beast of a rugged phone, and is the latest release from the company's Armor line of rugged smartphones. Like every other phone in the line, the 21 is incredibly bulky and sturdy, with the two standout features being the powerful LED speaker on the back and the ridiculously long battery life. Outside of that, it's an Android 13 smartphone with a 1080 by 2408 6.5 inch screen, a 64 megapixel camera, and powered by 8GB of RAM and a MediaTek Helio G99 chipset. It also weighs a solid 400 grams, putting it on the heavy side even for a rugged phone. And that's before you've even added a case or any of the other attachments. The weight should clue you in that the Armour 21 feels like it was made to withstand a bomb. It'll also feel like a bomb itself if you drop it on hollow surface from pretty much any decent sort of height. Another part behind the added weight is just how damn big it is. With the 6.5 inch screen, this phone feels closer to a small tablet than it does to any other sort of smartphone, and that does come with some distinct advantages and disadvantages. The larger screen is great for watching video or using certain apps, and if you have large hands then you probably won't suffer the usual cramp that a smaller phone may usually give you. Of course the other side of that coin is that anyone with small hands is going to find this phone basically completely unusable. On top of that you'll need deep pockets to prevent it from falling out, or start keeping your phone in a bag of some kind. Another slight issue with the device's physical construction is the speaker on the back. If you're using your phone and you put it down, it won't sit flat unless you lie it on its screen side, which can lead to the phone being unstable and falling off of surfaces at annoying times. You could put the armour case on to make the back of the phone less uneven, but that will also make it even more bulky, with added little points sticking out at weird angles, making the phone sort of uncomfortable to even hold. Unfortunately, the case in general is more than a little disappointing. Not only does it make using the phone more uncomfortable, but the attachment system on our unit broke within seconds of getting it out of the box. The carabiner clip just fell apart, possibly due to over-tightening of these little tiny screws at the factory. The other belt clip smashed during our first drop test, which isn't a good sign considering this case has supposedly been designed for a rugged phone. A better sign is the IP69K rating, which basically means that no amount of liquid or dust is getting inside, even under pressure or high temperatures. While the speaker on the back does make the phone unstable, it is at the very least a decently powerful speaker. If you spend a lot of time in the great outdoors, and tend to lug an external speaker around with you, the Arm 21 will probably make the need to do that redundant. You also get a nice light show, thanks to the customizable LED ring surrounding the speaker. It responds based on volume though, so if you have music set up too loud, it won't work correctly. Honestly, that's probably for the best though, because the volume on this thing can get to sort of dangerous levels. So it certainly succeeds at being a decently powerful speaker, but how's the quality? Well, honestly, just fine, but nothing special. You'll get comparable audio quality from the speaker on the back of the Armour 21 that you would get from a mid-range, cheap-ish speaker that you could buy at any store, albeit without the LED light show involved. The speaker can come off as a little tinny, but unless you're a serious audiophile, you probably won't even notice. But it also gets a little peaky at the higher volume levels that we previously discussed. This does also come with the issue that even on the lowest volume, the Armour 21 can be a bit loud, especially at night or if you happen to be in a quiet setting, which could necessitate the use of a third-party precision volume app. One positive side note to all this is the inclusion of the physical audio jack on the bottom of the device, just in case, like me, you've never managed to get over that particular loss. Another thing that the Eulophone Armour 21 does have going for it is some pretty insane battery life. It has a staggering 9600 milliamp hour battery, and even on relatively intense use days, it will last a full 48 hours without being charged. Obviously that number will dip a bit if you're planning on playing COD Mobile for 16 hours straight, but for anyone who uses their phone for mostly video, music or social media, you'll get a huge amount of life out of this thing. I myself didn't charge it overnight during testing relatively regularly, but I could still use my phone all of the next day without even approaching a low battery warning. So, if you're the type of person who is constantly forgetting to charge your phone overnight before leaving the house, this might just be the phone for you. 
On the nose for the battery, it also supports various charging methods and speeds, with a standard 33 watt fast charging via USB-C being your go-to option. There are also a couple of pogo pins on the back of the phone to support docked charging, though there are two important notes there, one being that the dock is sold separately, and two being that you won't be able to use a case and dock charging at the same time. All of this battery life isn't worth much if you can't do anything with it. So how does the Armour 21 actually perform? To find out, our first port of call is a gaming benchmark with 3D Mark's Wildlife benchmark. We got a top result of 1229, which is roughly comparable to a Xiaomi Mi Mix 4 from 2021, and is around half of the average smartphone scores for Q2 of 2023 with this benchmark. How does that translate to real world performance? Well, in terms of gaming, it will get you solid results in anything from COD Mobile and Genshin to Dolphin and PS2 emulation. Frame rates are relatively high, especially when running in medium graphic settings on most games. Sure, it's not about to win any performance awards, but it will run pretty much any modern day app you can throw at it without issues. You can also edit videos or images, and shouldn't struggle with any social media applications. Not that that's much of a shock these days. Looking to the camera quality now, the phone performs admirably. You can get some decent nature shots and some decent nice shots, but the results aren't too much to write home about. For the sake of comparison, We've taken some same shots using the Samsung S21 from 2021 and the Armour 21. The biggest and most noticeable difference is in the angles the photos are taken, with the standard photo of the Armour 21 being much wider than the standard photo of the S21, although putting the latter into wide shot mode did give more even results. In terms of actual quality, the differences are a little more subtle. Both cameras were left on default settings, and it seems like Samsung's scene optimization has boosted the saturation a little, though I should point out that the colours in the Eulophone version are a lot closer to real life, but they've also been AI enhanced thanks to the standard features of the Android camera app. Image quality does seem a little higher on the Armour 21, but that could be the slightly higher default image resolution. We also tried both cameras using the 64 megapixel high quality mode and got slightly different results again. The now two year old S21 manages to take a better indoor 64 megapixel photo, but misses some of the finer details in the outdoor photo. Whereas the Armour 21 performs really well with natural light, but loses out in the detail race when compared with the S21 indoors. Video wise, the camera once again fails to impress, but does get the job done. It'll film at 2K resolutions, but doesn't seem to take in light information so well when doing indoor or night shots. All technical points aside, the real question is that of usability. Does the Eulophone Armour 21 feel good to use and does it work well? In general, the usability of the device is fairly decent, but most of the points for that have to go to the fact that it's basically a stock Android 13 installation, albeit with a few minor customizations on behalf of Eulophone. As you might have expected from this, that also means that you can load it up with custom launchers and pretty much change whatever you like about the phone, and in most cases this doesn't seem to impact performance too badly. There's also the extra programmable key on the side, but with the phone being so unwieldy, I honestly had to leave that one unmapped for fear that I was going to constantly keep turning my torch on at night and blind my partner. And this is where that big ugly speaker on the back of the phone starts to rear its head again. If you plan to spend almost any time at all scrolling through video sites with this thing, then you are going to struggle. The speaker on the back is highly directional, and with it pointing away from you during regular use, you'll need your volume far too high for comfort to make your videos audible. While this probably won't affect some users, anyone who plans on playing video at all at any reasonable volume is going to have a bad time. You should also be aware that we did experience some very minor app incompatibilities, with certain apps like TikTok restricting very specific features. When all is said and done, it's sort of hard to judge the Eulophone Armour 21. The touted killer feature of the giant speaker on the back has ended up as a bit of a lame duck, mostly causing more frustration than it solved any problems. On the positive side, the battery life is truly impressive, and is honestly a good enough selling point that some people might get hooked to the phone on this alone. Outside of these key features, the Armour 21 is an adequate smartphone in almost every capacity. Usability, camera, and a thousand other factors are basically fine, but nothing special. Still, it's also a tough as nails phone, even with the disappointing case, so it's not completely lacking in appeal. All of that said, the MSRP of $319.99 might make most prospective purchasers think twice. Thank you for watching our review of the Eulophone Armour 21 and a big thanks to Eulophone for sending us this unit to review. 
If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to see all of our future videos as soon as they come out and check the links in the description to go to our website for more tech-focused articles.